Hello everyone, hope you are good. Today I am here for a new series of ESP32 and this time I will use SIM 800 l uh, a very popular and cheap GSM module. Uh, you all know about this and those are working on IoT and uh, we will uh, make a series of video with interfacing ESP32 and SIM 800 l and uBlocks M8N GPS module. So uh, finally we will try to make a GPS tracker uh, with battery. So uh, I hope this uh, series will be very interesting for you and you can learn a lot of things. So we will go step by step and uh, we will uh, first try to connect uh, SIM 800 l uh, with the SP32 then we test uh, one by one uh, like um, uh, GSM network testing uh, we will go for SMS uh, receive and sending then we will try call and then uh, we will try to uh, connect with the internet and then we will try to connect with MQTT and HTTP, uh, API endpoint, uh, Google Firebase, and every possible uh, IoT communication protocol, we will try to use it. So this is a, uh, a discussion and a long series. Uh, we will discuss each um, experiment here as no hurry. And finally, uh, we will test um, yeah, with GPS module also. This is uh, uBlocks. Uh, M8N uh, GPS module and um, we will try to uh, get GPS data from satellite and and we also try to make an app to make uh, a tracker visualize like Google map we will integrate with Google map and many more we will discuss later okay so this is the circuit I have just designed it and uh, in this screen I uh, will put the circuit diagram okay so the, actually the schematic because this is the advanced, advanced course so it will be the schematic and uh, for this uh, messy uh, wiring I just make a uh, PCV here a die PCV I just um, uh, design my own and print at the home okay and of course you can use uh, our breadboard version same connection same diagram uh, same schematic just uh, this one is uh, less wire and it will uh, uh, it will be easy okay that's it nothing else so I have here I put um, the GPS module and this is the same module and this is um, a 18650 battery and we will put the battery here so it will be connected okay the same PCB also is uh, here in the breadboard so you can use the breadboard also if you don't have the PCBs and here we are using ESP32 38 pin version so you can use um, 30 pin version also not issue and uh, here we need uh, a sim card you can see this is a micro size sim card so we will use uh, in the sim 800l it uses this micro sim card and of course we need an active plan uh, of uh, internet also have um, credit to send sms and receive sms okay this will be the prerequisition for us uh, and uh, today i will show you just um, how can uh, you connect your uh, devices and uh, at the first time we will uh, try to connect with the local network and we will try to get the 
signal strength how much signal strength is here and uh, finally we'll print the uh, operator that's the, the network interface setup actually just a quick overview of sim 800l this is a quad band gsm 850 900 mhz is supported and of course sms and voice call support and uh, we can access internet the gprs okay the first uh, generation gprs you i can remember but in our iot devices that's enough because in iot devices there are some little uh, sensor data or something we need to send so it is not a problem you can you can see when we uh, go for the next uh, couple of uh, videos like when we send data to mqtt or http you can see this is not a problem and for battery based devices battery power devices it is a uh, good choice uh, and here uh, to communicate with this mode uh, modem with the microcontroller you can use the UART interface which is very convenient and easy to use just for uh, uh, connection we need tx rx and uh, ground vcc so it will easy and um, full control of serial monitor you can use at command of course you can use the library i will show you next and there are some status led in asp uh, in asm 800 l and it is very useful because without any coding if you give the power uh, you can see uh, the indicator is blinking and there is some uh, blinking you can check uh, is your sim 800 l is okay it is connected with internet it is connected with the network you can check all to just see the blink how many time blinks okay i'll show you more and it is very small size uh, you can uh, when you uh, uh, get it in hand you can see it is very small size it will fit your uh, pcb or devices as well and power supply we need a 3.7 volt to 4.2 volt dc according to the data sheet but we can use 5 volt i have tested and uh, some of my project is running with 5 volt uh, so it works no problem okay and um, uh, we of course we need to uh, add a capacitor here and uh, the power supply uh, should be uh, at least 2 ampere output okay because sometimes uh, uh, SP, uh, our sim 800 l may be brushed uh, to tx sometime to transmit the data it will use maximum 2 ampere so if your power supply uh, cannot keep the total power uh, then it will might problem and uh, this is a uh, uh, theme 800 l pinout okay which pin works for uh, so we just need this uh, some of pins here and some of pin we don't need here the net pin actually works for uh, this antenna actually the net pin is connected to this antenna the spring tap antenna and of course there is a, a cable uh, antenna cable you can also put in here and we need vcc to power the voltage rst uh, we need to uh, reset our modem um, hard reset uh, we need the rest pin and tx rx you can know the e word for e word and ground for ground and this ring pin indicate for status of incoming call we can uh, inform this ring pin and this dtr pin uh, is uh, control the power of the sim 800 l so we can uh, make the sim 800 l the modem sleep mode or we can wake up mode so we can control it okay so that's it that's the uh, description part and uh, we will uh, right now uh, to code so this is the code you can see i will put the code link in the description okay i will put the code link in the description you can easily uh, see all the code and run it so uh, this is the first video so i will explain the code but from the next video i will not explain the code because all the uh, next video code the setup code is all same so this first time i will explain the code so first uh, we need uh, the tiny gsm modem sim 800 because we are using sim 800 l and uh, this is the serial hardware serials uh, on sp32 uh, 
those are working on sp32 those are uh, familiar with this serial serial 1 serial 2 and gsm pin if our sim or sim uh, sim card actually sim card has pin so we need to pin give the pin here okay and um, we need a library pubs of client library you can find here very easily library manager pubs of client and tiny gsm client because this is uh, the library for our gsm module and pub sub client is the mqtt client which is not using this uh, video today but we will use later okay arduino json and time library also we will use later and um, uh, apn uh, we need the correct apn of your uh, sim provider please uh, give it carefully without the incorrect apn uh, the sim module will not connect it with the internet and this is a macro uh, it will dump at commands so if you want to see uh, what at command goes for the task you can just uh, you can just uh, dump at comes true then you will uh, see in the serial monitor which at commands is modern okay and uh, we will uh, create some uh, classes here like pop sub client first we need to client uh, our modem and then the modem uh, goes to the MQTT client. Okay, it uh, I will uh, need uh, this client uh, the class for MQTT connection will will be next, but this time we will be need this. Okay, and this is the pinout of SIM 800L and SP32. According to the schematic I show you earlier, the first uh, all the same. There is TX pin, RX pin, TX pin 26, RX pin 27, reset pin 14. DTR pin 25 and ring pin 34 okay and this is some uh, variable so this is important in the setup first we need to reset uh, more uh, our pin reset modem reset pin as output then we will make them low then high okay without reset pin high our modem will not work remember okay and DTR pin also a control pin so we will uh, make it output and also keep the modem to keep the modem uh, we need to make it high okay and ring pin as in, uh, input uh, so we will um, uh, an incoming uh, call we can see the stress from this ring pin okay and this time uh, we will uh, begin the eight serial serial the word uh, uh, have the serial AT just again yeah, modem in it to initialize the modem and uh, if successfully initialized the modem will print some info with modem uh, model we're using and uh, if there is sim pin uh, we will unlock the sim from here and next we will wait for our sim to connect it with the local network okay you can see uh, it is wait for the local network a 10 second interval we will wait for it to connect it with local network. If it is connected, it will print success. And then modem is connected. Uh, from this, we will get print the modem is network is connected. Then we will print some info. Okay, the modem info that the IMEI, the operator name, which operator uh, your SIM provider is connected. You will get the name from here. And signal quality. How are signal quality? Okay, so it's from 0 to 31 signal is good and after that the signal is not good okay so uh, the signal quality near to 0 this is a strong signal okay and far away from 0 the signal quality is low and next we will connect the gprs so we will need the apn so if the GPRS is connected, then we will print the device connected and we will get a local IP. That's it. And in the loop, we will just print the signal quality and our modem is connected or not continuously. This is the code today. And uh, right now, I will connect our circuit with my PC and I will upload the code. okay we will open the serial monitor and see what happened here and okay wait 
So uh, you can see there is a model initialize and model print some info. This is M800 L and model info. Okay, so that's mean our uh, M800 L is successfully connected with the ESP32 and eWord communication is working. Okay, and you can see the waiting for network. Okay, we will set up. We are uh, here. Uh, is waiting for network of 10 second and you can see there is a debug message here over voltage power down but don't worry uh, we will use 5 volts so that's why it's uh, give me this but it uh, just wait 10 second it will print it will working okay okay so uh, success that means our network uh, connected uh, you can see the IMEI the operator the shape board i can see signal quality 24 this is good and connecting to the apn inter is okay gpr is connected and local ip we are getting the local ip okay and this is from the loop our signal quality is printing the signal quality and network status okay so that's it and uh, right now i show you you can see the network status uh, and the led indicator in sim 800 l it's blinking too fast right it's blinking too fast so when uh, your sim 800 l blinking like that too fast that means your sim 800 l is successfully connected with the internet okay to the internet so that means your sim 800 l is working okay but if i press reset so it will stop and this uh, indicator the one second blink that means your sim 800 l actually searching uh, in the network okay searching the network so one second interval is searching the network okay so uh, it's open now and you can see if the modem is connected with the network three second interval you can see it's three second interval printing three second interval and too fast so it is connected with the internet okay so that's it i hope you like it and uh, if you faced any problem uh, in the power up so please watch the uh, schematic again um, don't forget to put the capacitor here and antenna connected okay so that's it okay thank you for today next uh, video we will show you how can you use sms sending and receiving with your esp32 and sima 800l so thank you guys